Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today we're going to talk about the differences between a beef cow and a dairy cow. So let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to talk about the difference between the beef cow and the dairy cow. Now, granted, they're both cows, granted, they're both herbivores. Granted, they both eat grass. Granted, they both poop, which we can turn into fertilizer. But we want to know the differences. What are some, what makes a dairy cow a dairy cow and a beef cow a beef cow? Well, we got some major differences that we're going to share with you today. The first one is that a beef cow looks more muscular, more beefy he has more fat what it looks like he's, he's a fatter cow you won't see the ribs um, like you will on a dairy cow uh, the back bones that the back hip bones that protrude out on a dairy cow okay you won't see that on a beef cow he'll have that muscular overturn turn like he's trying to be mr. Olympia in the bovine world you know that kind of thing with the dairy cow, she's going to be leaner, look leaner. She's going to look real skinny. Um, the dairy cow is the, that one cow that everybody goes, oh, that cow is not being fed. Look at that cow. I can see its hip bones in the back. And, and that cow is undernourished and, and da, 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 da. No. That's the way the cow's supposed to look. With a dairy cow, a good, healthy dairy cow, you're going to want to see the ribs. Just lightly see them. You don't, they, you don't want them protruding out. But you want to be able to see and tell that they're there. Where with the beefy over here, you don't want to see that. He, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Okay, so that's one. <clears throat> the second major difference is the size on a cow, the size of the udders. Okay, on a dairy cow, the udders are going to be a lot larger and they're going to hang a lot lower. The teats are going to be a lot fatter, and they're going to be a lot lower to the ground. Now, of course, the major reason for that is milking. Milking the cow. Okay? Lower to the ground. Where your beef breed is going to be up, her bag's not going to be as large because she's not going to be producing as much milk. Okay? With your dairy cows, you're going to have the larger bag because they're producing uh like a good producing dairy cow will be producing anywhere from 13 to 20 pounds or 13 up let's just say 13 up because i've seen some produce a lot more than 20. 13 pounds or more of milk from one milking okay so they gotta have they're gonna have big large bags for that where your beef cow the only thing that she's worried about is if she has a calf feeding that calf so she's going to have a smaller bag and it's going to be up higher because of the calf be coming up into there and beating and trying to latch on third difference is going to be the color of their coat you're going to have a color variation you're going to have more variations of color in your beef breed than you will in your dairy breed basically your beef breed is going to be mostly like your browns with your jerseys and your black and whites with your Holsteins, and that's about all you're going to get. You may get a gray with a Swiss. Um, with your beef breeds, they can go from solid black to red to on up in different color variations. depends on what they're, they're bred with. Now, going back to the beef cows looking more muscular and more beefy. The reason for the another reason for that is a dairy cow's metabolism is extremely high. She has to produce all of that milk, okay? And then plus Palo. Plus carry on with her everyday routine. So, with that in mind, if you're thinking about getting in in the cattle you have to think about the fact that a you need to have more more pasture or more ways to supplement the feed for a dairy cow versus the beef cow also 
with difference between um, dairy cows and beef cows on the same line. The bulls on a, the dairy breed look more feminine. They're smaller, they're leaner in statue, where with your beef bulls, they're more stout, more muscular, what you think a bull should be. And that's it. That's really the major differences between a dairy and a beef cow. Now, I hoped that the introduction to cows video and the in this video the difference between a dairy and a beef cow will help you in making your decision to whether if you want to get a dairy cow or a beef cow also at the end of this video we are going to uh, get those end screen annotation things we're going to link the our video on how to hand milk your cow so that way if you're leaning towards your dairy breed it gives you a little bit more information to see if you really want to tackle on a dairy breed because remember that cat that dairy cow when she's in milk she has to be milked twice a day every 12 hours so keep that in mind well don't forget to check us out on our other social media links instagram facebook twitter don't forget to check out our website which is www.bigbearhomestead.com and you can go check out we're putting up pages all the time about cows or predator control or gardening we're also putting new stuff in our shop all the time thanks for coming by the big wait hold up i'm not done yet don't go nowhere teaser we did you the two videos on the cows later this week we've got a special fun video coming out about cows so I just wanted to drop that nugget right there. So now I can say thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. And like always, have a nice day.